Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and professional real estate developer. Today's video is about an update on Miami and Airbnbs in Miami specifically, and also my thought and warnings about a really generic plain white vanilla condo sort of unit because this is the future of what's gonna happen. So I just read that Airbnb is partnering with New Guard Development Corp and they've got a 48 story tower in Miami and it's gonna consist of 412 condos and 192 hotel rooms, so like 600 plus white vanilla condo units. And it's kind of interesting, it's called Nativo, and they've got one in Nashville called Nido. So whoever's doing their branding, they're really into the N and the O and Nido, Nativo, I don't particularly resonate with it, but they seem to think it's fantastic. Interestingly though, this is kind of a warning. This is what we can expect Airbnb, developers, high rises of the future to begin to look like. Airbnb has exposure now in Miami, Orlando, Nashville, and Austin in these sort of towers. And the thing about it is, one, I don't think they do it particularly well yet. I think they will figure it out. But two, as a host and an entrepreneur, you should really think about what differentiates you. I've taught time and time again about the importance of being unique and attracting your tribe and really doing things differently. And this is a case in point. We're sitting right now in an Airbnb in Singer Island of Florida, plain white vanilla condo. It's perfectly nice and I like it a lot, but what if I own this place and there was a 48 story tower going directly across the street from me brand new, custom built, purpose designed for Airbnb, how would I feel about this plain generic condo? Probably not good. So what would I have to do? Probably compete on price. So what does that mean for my business? Probably less profitable. And at a certain point when the profits are no longer meaningful or exciting, then it becomes a chore, and then it becomes a pain in the butt, and then you delist, and then you might sell, and if there's hundreds of units in this building that I'm sitting in right now, and many hosts are feeling the pinch and the pain, so many listings go on the line at the same time, more supply, less demand, prices go down. So like, it's really imperative that we think about where we are investing, what our current holdings look like, and position ourselves not for what's working now, but what's working in the future. So that begs the question, well, what do I think will work in the future? And again, I'm gonna repeat the same thing I've been teaching time and time again. Unique properties, attracting your tribe, doing things differently, and I'm gonna give you an example. If I owned a very unique cottage or bungalow with a lot of design and aesthetic and personality and feel, and it was a standalone unit, I wouldn't necessarily be competing with a 48-story plain vanilla condo, would I? There would be a different type of person that would want a vacation in my bungalow versus a brand new high rise. And so the brand new high rise can go ahead and compete on price with the high rises across the street and you know down and up and down the strip. But the individual unique character where your personality, your hosting experience, like what it is that you are doing and the tribe that you're attracting is not unaffected but much less affected, right? It's like a totally different category. So what I believe here is in their quest for scale and size and dominance, people like rental arbitrageurs, Airbnb, large scale property developers, they're moving into the space because they know that people wanna do this and they're gonna to continue to wanna to Airbnb and stay in Airbnbs forever. But sometimes too much of a good thing is actually a bad thing. And so I encourage everybody to get outside of that scrum and not compete in like the plain vanilla white condo because you can see what happens and instead reposition yourselves or make investments going forward that are unique and have character and display your personality that can't be competed away. At the end of the day, there's plenty of room there's, for all of us, but what I want us to do as hosts and entrepreneurs is position ourselves intelligently in the places where we can continue to have good profit margins, sustainable businesses, and use this to fund our financial freedom on a go forward basis, as opposed to this be a moment in time that worked really well and then it stopped, because that would be a real pity. So, I'd love to hear your comments below. Go ahead and let me know what you think about this. And for those of you that have condos, is this like shot over the bow that we're starting to see buildings being developed for Airbnb, partnered with Airbnb in cities like Nashville, Orlando, Austin, Miami, right? They're hitting the hot spots. How do we feel about that and what do we do in response? 
I know what I'm doing. I'm finding unique properties in unique locations that can't be competed away, that don't sustain a 48-story tower because there's just not that much demand. And I'm going to the places where people want to live like locals and I'm giving them that local experience. And therein lies the lesson. I hope you found the video helpful. Please go ahead and like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video. I just want to share with you that the Host Saver one-click website tool is now live. Like people are on it and they're using it all the time. And we really want to encourage you to take control of your financial future by building your own brand and building your own business and getting off the dependency of the platforms. Take charge and control of your own future and develop relationships with your clients, the people that have come and stayed in your home. Tell them about discounts or specials that you have. Tell them that you expanded. Tell them anything that you want. Write blogs and start to get your own traction, right? Attract your own tribe using your own website. This is what businesses do. It's 2020. The time is now for people like me and you to build our own website and become platform agnostic. So go ahead and click in the description below to register for the host saver one click and you have your own custom absolutely gorgeous works flawlessly website can't wait to see you there let's go friends